Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another and this tutorial. I want to show you an easy way of how you can get better and more professional skin tones in your images using just Photoshop. So you can see a quick before and after for this first tutorial. And if I told this is what you always wanted, I request that you hit the like button because this is going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So I just request that you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't subscribed yet to this channel so you can see the before and after and you're just going to go straight into this very tutorial so i'm just going to come and delete this color graded group and this is the image uh, straight out of the camera and i did no adjustment so the very first tip you have to take into consideration always shoot your images in a warm white balance because that is going to help you easily identify and get better and richer skin tones straight out of the camera as you can see on this image that i shot at around 5800 kelvins so what i'm going to do in this case i'm just going to come to the adjustments down here by the i'm using photoshop 2020 so i'm just going to come down here through the adjustments and i just come to the gradient map so when i come to gradient map you can see it's going to choose any other random color within the property window of the gradient map so in order to get a better color we're just going to be mapping colors from this image and we try to get a uniform skin color or a uniform skin tone so i just come and simply close this so in order to get a uniform skin color or skin tone you're just going to come and select the gradient icon and simply hide it so after hiding or making the gradient map layer invisible you're just going to come and select the background layer and simply come and make sure that this icon is selected so in order to map colors from this very image first of all we're just going to come and double click right here so after double clicking on this icon make sure that the icon is selected and not the white layer mask. so make sure you double click and it's going to open up the properties simply left click on the color right there and it's going to open up the gradient editor in this case so just want to choose or select colors ranging from the color in the highlight area the mid tones and the shadow area of the skin tone of the model so how to do this simply come and make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 average and the sample is selected or the sample is all layers so we're just going to see that in the gradient map the gradients move from the shadows to the highlights. So you have shadows, midtones around here and highlights. So I'm just going to come and simply click on that stop right there. Or you can simply double click on the stop. So if I told you single click, it is going to come to the color area and simply left click on that color. So in this case, we just want to get a color that falls within the shadow area of the skin tone don't choose the black area Cho choose the shadow area in the skin tone area so i'm just going to zoom in by using ctrl command plus and moving the image so this is going to be our shadow color so simply left click on the shadow car color so this color is good for a shadow area and just come and click on ok so basically what we're doing we're just trying to map colors from this very image itself so just going to come to the brightest area and simply double click on this stopper and it's going to open up the color picker window and just come and choose the color that falls within the brightest area of the skin so for this case i'm just going to choose around um just going to choose this area and simply click on ok and to make a midpoint within the middle, just choose anywhere you think is the middle. Single click and simply come the color. Left click on it and it's going to come and open up this and choose a mid-tone color. So for this case, I'm just going to choose a mid a mid-tone color. So I'm just going to choose a color that falls around here. Here looks great. And I'm just going to come and click on OK. So you can see we have done the mapping of the skin tone for this overall image. So I just going to come and simply click on OK and simply close the properties. So after we have done this, the next thing we are going to do, you're just going to come and now 
activate or make this gradient layer visible once again and you can see that this is going to be affecting the overall image and this doesn't look okay so we're just going to come the blend mode and simply change it from normal and change it all the way down to color i know this doesn't look good at this point so just want to paint in these colors in the skin tone area and you can see that it's affecting the overall image so just going to come and make sure we select the white layer mask remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so just going to come and we select the white adjustment layer or the white layer mask and after selecting it simply press ctrl i if at all you're using windows then if at all you're using mac simply press co command i and that is going to invert or hide the effect remember it has been hidden behind this black mask black is going to hide and white is going to review so just going to come under the brushes right click and get the brush tool and make sure it is a soft round brush and with hardness of zero percent or percent the flat 100 percent right here so make sure you have black and white here and you can reset this by switching or clicking on these two small boxes to have black and white or you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard or you can use this arrow key so make sure white is on top so just going to simply paint in or paint on the skin of the model so i'm just going to come and paint on the skin and you can see it is going to make the skin look better and look uniform so i'm just going to do a quick job on the skin area reduce on the size you can reduce on the size of your brush by simply using the bracket keys so the left bracket key is going to reduce on the size of your brush tool in photoshop so i'm just going to paint on only the skin and you can see it has created a uniform skin tone uh, for this very image but you can see that we have painted extras so in order to delete simply switch the brush back to black reduce on the size and simply paint to rub away the effect or hide or remove the extras from the areas you don't want to uh, be affected by the skin tone color grading so you can as well zoom in and eliminate the color from maybe the eyeshadow if at all you don't want uh, to affect the eyeshadow or even the eyes so now we are done doing this let me just eliminate the extras right here by using a black brush so this looks okay and now the next thing we are going to do basically we are going to play around with the opacity of our layer that is containing the color so just going to come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity and now you can notice that as uh, the image is having you can say before and after the image is having a uniform skin tone but this looks a little bit more on the yellow side and we are lacking contrast within this very image so in order to achieve this we're just going to come and we're going to come to the curves adjustment layer right here and we get this hand tool so we're just going to simply add contrast in targeted areas so you can either darken or lighten specific areas within the image so i'm just going to come to this highlight and i'm just going to uh, darken it a little bit so you left click and hold down and you left click hold down and drag in the direction where you want to drag so i'm just going to come the shadow i'm just going to darken that a little bit so i just come the darkest area of the skin right here and i'm just going to add more contrast just like that so right now the image looks okay and we have added contrast to the image so but this looks a little bit more on the yellow side which we don't want and we just want to get back more of the original or initial skin tone for our subject right here so just going to come the curves to the adjustments and come the hue and saturation adjustment layer then you're going to come and target the red color so after targeting the red color, just going to come and make sure we have selected light, the lightness rather and come and simply take down the lightness just like that. And this is going to make the skin look richer and you can now come to the saturation also and simply take down the saturation. And you can come and do the same for the yellows or the yellow color by taking down the lightness of uh, the yellow color 
So I'm just going to leave this around negative 20 and simply desaturate. So right now we are done getting a better skin tone for our model. So let me just put this in a group. I'm just going to use shift and click on both layers. Press Ctrl Command G on the keyboard. And you can see the before and after before. After now the skin looks a little bit richer. So you can calm the opacity and simply take down the opacity if at all you feel like you have overdone this. So you can just back that down. If at all you feel like you have over overly worked on the image so at around 70 we are good to go and this is the image initially before after before after so this is how you can get a richer skin tone within photoshop and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't, don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.